Welcome back to the channel once again. If you guys are finding me for the very first time, please do me a favor, smash that like and subscribe button. That way you guys can stay up to date on all future content here on the channel. So without further ado, guys, let's check out the collector's edition coming from Limited Run. Now, the game will be sold in retail. So your Game Stops, your Walmart, your Best Buys, Targets, Amazon, they're all going to have the regular version and retail when it comes out physically limited run is just doing the collector's edition they are doing a vhs edition and they're doing a collector's edition now you can buy the physical edition the normal vanilla regular edition physical there too as well um but you know with limited run it usually takes a long time to get stuff so your best just to go to like amazon or walmart or something if you're going to get that but today we're going to take a look at what exactly comes in these and and as you can see they're pretty pricey the VHS edition is $64, and the collector's edition is $190, $200, for the collector's edition, the, the big collector's edition for Shares Revenge. Like, that's a lot. Like, I'm a, I'm a TMNT fan, but even I'm not, I, I'm not, I'm going to pass on that. I am. $100 is sort of my limit. I, I don't try to go beyond $100 when it comes to my collector's editions. I've done it a few times in the past. But let's take a look and see what comes in this $200 collector's edition, shall we? So as you can see, first of all, it comes with a strategy guide. I don't know why you would need a strategy guide for a beat-em-up game. I mean, we, we, you probably like turn the page and it says, keep going right and beat up the foot soldiers. Like that's the strategy guide. But I mean, it's, it's pretty cool because strategy guides are, are you know a rare thing nowadays. But that that's pretty cool even though you don't need a strategy guide in a beat-em-up game. You get this cool little framed uh, art piece there. It looks like one of those ones that have like glass and it has like the, it looks like the paper mache and makes it like three dimensional. That's cool. You get the Shredder's Revenge CD soundtrack. You get this, uh, I assume this is a poster, steel book, a Shredder's figure that, that goes back to the original release of the uh, TMNT toy line. Which is really cool. If you guys are like old school turtle fans, you remember when this toy first came out, Shredder's armor was actually blue. It wasn't gray. So it's like the same model, but it's it's blue or, or gray instead of blue. You get the stickers, but the stickers comes in the normal vis uh, version. You get this little arcade, which is cool. But I mean, again, this is just a little thing. Like you really don't need it. It comes with the game and it comes with the game like in a toy pack right you know what i'm saying is it's like on uh, like the toy card it's in it so I, I thought that was okay um you see shredder like it comes with the regular version it comes with the vhs version the personal pan pizza and all that stuff um i don't know if i would say it's worth you know two hundred dollars me personally i don't think i would say that this bundle worth two hundred dollars unless you're getting one two three copies of the game and at that point, I'm like, why would you give us three copies? Unless this VHS one comes with a copy, you get a copy in this toy card version, and you get another copy. You know, I, I the two hundred dollars is a lot. Two hundred. I mean, you get a lot of stuff, right? You get the box, the strategy guide. You know, you you get a lot of stuff, but at the same time, that's a lot of money to fork out for for this for this collector's edition. It's called the limited radical edition and it is it's radical it's radical it's radical you know but um you know i me personally i would prefer just to get the vhs copy which the vhs copy is 64 dollars and you know it, it comes with the steel book it comes with the vhs copy and it comes with the personal pan pizza the stickers in the game now i'm not gonna pre-order this one either but if i would go into like a retro game store. I have a couple retro game stores in my area here that sell limited run games, right? So like like I was able to get the Castlevania limited run collection, you know, for for 60 bucks. So if I go in there and they have this, I would pick this up. This is something I would definitely pick up for myself. I'm just not going to order it on limited run. You know, I, I kind of backed off of ordering from Limited Run because I would order something and it would take a year for me to get it. And I did that with all my Shantae games and all my Star Wars games from Limited Run. And I didn't order. I didn't order the last the, the last Star Wars game, which is The Force Unleashed. I did not order it from Limited Run. I will wait for it to come out and I will pick it up at my local retro mom and pop store or I would just eBay it or something like that. But me personally, if you want me to be honest, I, I'd rather just... 
I'm going to buy the game digitally when it comes out so I can have it because it's going to come out digital first. Then I will go and I will pick up just the regular vanilla copy on the Nintendo Switch. But some of the stuff that they add in a Radical Edition just, it, to me, just doesn't appeal to me. Like, why would I want the game in a car? Like, like the figure is awesome. I like the figure, but the arcade, the game on a car, like, to me, that like I, I, I'd rather just have the... If they would have just went strategy guide, soundtrack, picture, toy... And VHS edition and said like 100, 110 bucks, maybe. But then, you, like, like, the arcade, I think, is irrelevant. The pit, the poster is irrelevant. The, the game on the card, I think, is irrelevant. You know, and so it, to me, it's just a lot of stuff that I don't think is necessary. Like, like the, the game and the card, I really don't understand, like, at all. Why would you even, like, it, it's a thing. But that's my thoughts on it, guys. I want to know what you guys think. Be sure to leave your comments in the comment box below. Once again, smash that like and subscribe button. Are you going to be picking up any of the collector's editions from Lemon Run? Leave those comments in the comment box below. Until next time, as always, I'm Robert Storms, and that's my opinion.